Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Micronesia News Broadcast. Today is Thursday and we have a very interesting uh, setup for you, so please stay tuned. And in our first story, did you know that Vital announced that they would be increasing the prices for gas, kerosene, etc.? Well, here's the story. Just two days ago, Vital, or better known as Petrocor, announced impending price increases for gasoline, kerosene, and diesel. And this is the third price increase since January this year and is expected to go into effect October 20. And I quote, FSMPC is no longer able to offset the growing fuel costs, stated FSMPC chairperson Mr. Faustino Yangmok. Although it may seem bad, we are being reassured that we'll be paying less than motorists in Guam, Madro, and Koror, respectively um, Palau and the Marshals. And apparently that's an achievement. Well, I congratulate them on being able to keep the gas prices down for us as compared to other, other places in the Micronesian region. Now, we cannot control the prices of oil and such that happen beyond our borders, but we should all remember, in the FSM, the minimum wage is still $1.75 an hour. And it's been like that for around two decades. While our, while our neighbors enjoy higher pay and can probably afford the raise with ease. What do you think, Micronesia? Our cost of living rises every single day, and yet we're still being paid crumbs? It's maddening almost. And in our second story, over in the Marshalls, specifically Madro, there was a fire that burned a historical business place slash landmark. And on October 8, a big portion of the DAR complex was burned out. It was believed to have been the fault of a spark in either the warehouse or the sewing area of the retail store. Luckily, there was no loss of life or injuries but the destruction of businesses, apartments, offices, and even the Israeli consulate office will likely cost millions of dollars to prepare slash replace. A big shout out to the MIPD fire truck, Majoro Water Sewer Company trucks, and the US Navy CVs for going on site to put out the fire that was reputed, reputedly to be 30 feet high. Um, well, all we know for now is that it is unclear whether or not the stories will, the stores will be rebuilt. And in our final story, you know, I saw on my news feed earlier today in a post talking about how people in Palau have been receiving strange messages from people who claim to be representatives of the public. Specifically, I'm talking about senators and government heads and all that stuff. You can usually tell it wasn't them because what kind of official, especially from our region, speaks or writes barely incomprehensible English? I mean, we all speak, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Episode Palau, they have English as an official language. Wow, there are even people who actually pose as these figures and speak Palau, even making it more convincing. Now, I myself have encountered such stuff as well. I mean, people have requested my friend request on Facebook as the Vice President, Postmaster General, and several other Senators from Pompeii and, and the FSM, which is very strange. It's even reputed that they're uh, being tangled into this scam where apparently these Senators, quote unquote Senators, talk to these people and then try to lure them into a scam using Western Union. What kind of an, what kind of an official business Concerning government would use the Western Union. Come on. It's not even that good. It's not even that good a scam if you think about it. Um, hey, and you know, what's another thing? Even this broadcast, President Christian of the FSM apparently liked our, our broadcast at least 10 times. So I don't know, there's, I didn't know there's 10 different President Christians of the FSM. Now, you know, it may seem funny and all, but some people 
get pulled into scams where they end up losing money and their personal information that really affects their lives. It's not cool to impersonate another person, especially when you're going to be impersonating a person that serves an official post that serves the people and you're going to be stealing from them. Come on. What do you think, Micronesia? As technology progresses and as our, as our islands populate, criminal activities will become much more sophisticated and harder to track. It's best we always check and validate anything before we do anything. Like I said, what kind of official government business uses the Western Union? Maybe our leaders should make, an official, make official Facebook accounts or social media accounts so as to not only discount fake accounts, but also to keep our people updated. Not a bad idea, yeah? And now here is my sister Alana with the announcements. Hey guys, I'm Alana and these are the announcements. Did you know there's a grappling club on Bombay? Neither did I. If you're interested, head on out to the Bombay Boxing Gym every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. to touch, roll, and wrestle with a bunch of sweaty dudes. Ew. Congratulations to Mr. Max Yarawamai, this year's recipient of the Pacific Islander Award from the Native Hawaiian Advancement and Pacific Basin Development Council. He has developed a successful landscaping business and started a nonprofit called Oceania Community Health. It serves Micronesians by addressing the community's health needs. Congrats, Mr. Max. Now here's Norman with the weather. Hey guys, this is Norman and this is the weather for tomorrow. 31 degrees Celsius high during the day and 24 degrees Celsius low during the night. With scattered thunderstorms and 50% chance of precipitation and 50, 75% of humidity. 